Okay, so in this question we've got a little algorithm in pseudocode. We have to try and work out what it does um, and explain a few things. So let's start with six part A. What is a syntax error? So syntax is the, the rules of a language. So if you break the rules of a language, then you get a syntax error. So if you type um, some punctuation where you're not expecting punctuation or you miss some punctuation out or you use the wrong symbols, anything like that, it's where you break the rules of a language. Um, for 6b part 1, what is the final value of variable i in this code? So let's have a look. We've got two variables, tot, which presumably stands for total, which is set to 0 at the beginning, r, which presumably stands for array, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers, 4 integers in that array, and we've got a for loop. So we use another variable called i. i starts at 1. And it keeps on increasing by 1 until we get to the length of our array plus 1. So our array has got 1, 2, 3, 4 items in. So the length of our array is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So this loop will loop round with i is 1. And then it will loop round with i is 2. And then with i is 3. And then with i is 4. And then with i is 5. Okay. So what is the final value of variable i in figure 1? final value will be 5, because it starts at 1 and keeps going until we get to the length of the array plus 1. Okay, so 6b part 2, why might a runtime error occur on line 4? So line 4 here, um, this line is saying the variable tot should be um, a value from our array at position i. So it will start off being absolutely fine, because if i is 1, then tot will be 3. If i is 2, then tot will be 19. If i is 3, then tot will be 2. If i is um, 4, then tot will be um, 8. But this loop keeps looping round until i gets to 5, and there aren't 5 numbers in this list here. Um, so uh, if we try and access a number that doesn't exist in an array, then we're going to get a runtime error because um, it won't know what number we're trying to look up. This question here, why are logical errors often the most difficult to find? Um, well, syntax errors you can spot um, because there's either a symbol missing or um, there's something that should be there that's not there um, or there's something that um, is there that shouldn't be there. Um, and often you'll have syntax highlighting, um, and errors will be different colours um, if you're using a, um, an IDE, uh, an inter interactive development environment. So often you'll have something that will point to a syntax error if you make one, so they're nice and easy to spot. Runtime errors, you can spot when you're testing because they're pretty dramatic. Often it makes your whole code crash, um, and it often tells you where your code has crashed. Um, but logical errors are ones where your code does what you've told it to do, you've just told it to do the wrong thing. Um, so there's no mistakes in the grammar of your code, um, there won't be any dramatic failures where you'd expect them to be, um, but uh, maybe you've um, done a loop from 1 to, um, to 3, whereas instead you want to do a loop from 1 to 4. Um, so they're, they're quite hard to find because they're problems with the logic of your code rather than the, um, the syntax or something that might happen whilst the code runs. Okay, so state the line number where the logical error occurs in figure one above and give the correct version of this line. Um, for this, um, for this um, question, we need to try and work out what this algorithm is trying to do. So we've guessed that TOT stands for total R stands for array, but what this actually works out um, it doesn't do anything useful at all. It just keeps storing the total as each individual value in our array. It would be much more useful if we kept a running total of that number plus that number plus that number plus that number. So to do that, um, line 4 is a problem. So we would rewrite it as being um, the total is set to whatever the total was before plus our new number.